Hello, hello, hello. Um, welcome to the channel. And I just thought it's about time. Had a little update of some technology. I've been using a five-year-old PC and a nine-year-old Mac, and I'm still on iPhone 7. So uh, this year, the weird and wonderful year that is 2020, we are upgrading some of the gear. So I am going to do a completely unscripted opening and the aim being that I'm going to take this iPad Air, um, I've got the magic keyboard with it, and I'm going to try and make this my only working device for business, pleasure and content consumption. So let's get this thing open. I um, have to say, first of all, I do love the way that Apple just do that. That's so satisfying, isn't it? Really is. So let's just get that open. Crack on with that. Again, I'm not one, I don't have cameras all over. This is just me. What you see is what you get. That isn't satisfying at all because my fingers won't hold it. There we go. Loving that. Look at that. God. So thin when you compare that to the oldest. Now, I've got one of the early iPhone minis. We've got a couple of the older iPhone, uh, iPads in sorry i was saying iphone ipads in the building um that we use but this just looks and feels beautiful so let's just take that out there so yeah a lot thinner than i thought it would be obviously the thing is i've not been able to go into the apple store because of lockdown here in the uk so we've uh, only watched obviously all the key uh key tech reviewers and um, put the order in so that's amazing absolutely tiny light as a feather so much better obviously link there for the uh, keyboard the magic pencil and everything so that's really really nice look on there what else we got in here so again usual paperwork all the reviewers will have seen that pass that on USB-C to USB-C cable and I've got the, I believe that's a 20 watt charger, which can also double up um, for using with the new iPhone to save me having to buy one. So that's really useful. Anything else in the box? Don't think so. No. Leave them in there. But first impressions and a quick unboxing there. Loving the, uh, glad I went with the blue. Loving the blue. That's absolutely beautiful. Just stick all that on there. I've gone with the larger model, the 256 gigabyte. Um, again, because I want to make this my only um, machine to use. So can I get by just using an iPad? Um, let's see, I'll check in in a week, in a month or a couple of months and uh, let you know how this goes. Okay, everybody. So um, I've just been setting up the new iPad Air and just wanted to sh say how easy it was just from a non-tech point of view that is an unbelievable experience um you know i'm not a tech guy reviewer or anything but it just said hold your current phone close to the ipad registered it straight away on both hit next and then bar putting in a few you know my internet password and checking some bank details for apple pay it's all automatic and it's backing it up from the cloud from my old iPad mini. So um, really looking forward to having a sort out of those apps once it's up to date and adding in a load more because this thing obviously has a lot more memory and I can put more onto it and we can see how using that goes in the future. But as a setup so far, that has been amazing just using my phone to set the iPad up and obviously then using everything from the cloud back up from yesterday. Okay, to go along with the new iPad, I'm going to um, see what all the fuss is about with the Magic Keyboard. Again, not being a tech guy, this is not a review, this is just a normal guy's unboxing. Um, just to see, can I make sure and use this with the keyboard and the iPad as my only device going forward. So it tells you obviously everything it works on, the different settings you can have it on. I think we already know what it does from all the other videos out there on the web. 
again, these apple boxes are just so slow. There we go. Stick that out of the way. Got a bit of really nice packaging that you always get with apple. Quite a weight to it, almost feels heavier than the iPad itself. Yeah, I think it is actually a little bit heavier than the iPad itself, but let's just pop that there a second. Get all the gubbins out of it and make sure that uh, there is any extra weight in there. Which way are we going with this? There we go. So yeah, that is only cardboard and again, designed by Apple and all the paperwork. I'm not going to do that because again, I'm not a tech unbox, so I'm not going to read it. Now that does feel pretty awesome to be fair. And pins on the back, magnet on the, the top. Oh, that to be fair, that is amazing. Slots straight on. Backlight comes on on the keyboard. Mouse works instantly. Nice Apple keys again. That's been a long time since I've used keys like those. So um, I don't even know where Notes is or anything in here. Let's just open up a note. Let's do the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dark. That's all the keys done. To be fair, that is a nice keyboard. Quite stiff, obviously, at the moment. As everybody knows, so yeah, USB-C pass-through, so that's going to be really, really useful because I can then uh, I do have a dongle on order, which will give a lot more functionality. But uh, yeah, that is quite hefty. That's heavier than I thought it was going to be, and the magnets are really strong. But initial thoughts, I'm really pleased with that. So if I can get this as my only. Uh, my go-to unit, and that's fantastic. Excellent.